what you guys today we're taking a look at the best free windows to go creator now we're going to be taking a look at this software because quite a few people have said they've tried the windows to go and it's not working for them and they can't seem to get it to boot so i thought I'd make a complete video showing you whatever software you're using i'll show you the full process on how to get it done now i'm going to be using this software because i think it's probably one of the best ones to use and that's what we're going to be using it's called win to usb I'm going to get it installed on the system. It is free to use. It will use uh, Windows 11, Windows 10, or any other version of Windows. So let's go ahead and get this installed and open it up. So the program should open. And you should see something looking like this. Now, once this opens, you might get this firewall alert popping up here. I'm going to block always and then click OK. And now we've got the next section here where we can choose Windows to go USB. Windows installation USB or bootable WinPE USB. You can choose which one of these you want to create the tools that you're trying to create, but we're looking for the Windows to go USB in this video. So click on this one and now we can select a source image. You can download an ISO from Microsoft's website for free. That's what I've done. Or you can download it directly here. So you can browse for your image file or you can even use your current Windows OS. You will need quite a lot of storage space if you're going to use this method. So I've already downloaded the ISO file. So I'm going to click browse file image and locate my Windows 11 ISO. Now, once we click open here, we're going to select our destination here next. Now the destination is going to be your USB flash drive or external drive. Now you'll notice here, mine is a Kingston uh, NVMe drive and that's important because you want this as fast as possible slow USB flash drives will cause nothing but problems and probably will fail and it will take forever to boot up so let's go ahead and get the settings where we want them GPT for UEFI and you can see a bunch of other settings here if you want to mess with these passwords and compatible mode and uh, use 256 bit encryption I'm not going to do any of that stuff once you're happy click proceed and we're going to next click on yes. It's going to erase all the data on that drive and prepare it for us. So let that happen. I will speed this process up. Now, this is the point where people get impatient. And if you're using just the standard cheap USB flash drive, it will take forever and it will probably end up failing. So we're using a super fast uh, NVMe drive here, but you can use super fast USB flash drives but it's best to get as fast as possible. That way it won't cause any issues. So let's go into our drive here and you should see a bunch of Windows files inside here. And this is exactly what we want to see. Next, what we're gonna do here is finish off here and we can now boot to our drive. So I'm gonna choose my drive and boot to it in my BIOS. And this will start the boot up process. You are not going to be booting to the desktop on your first boot. Bear that in mind, it needs to prepare the drive and get it ready for Windows 11, just as it would on a normal hard drive. So just take your time and let it build and get ready for Windows 11 or other versions of Windows that you're using. It's not going to go straight to the desktop. It will restart and we're going to boot to our USB flash drive again and it will start to go through the next stage of preparing. It still won't boot to the desktop at this stage because it's still preparing the Windows uh, drive. So bear that in mind. It does take a fair bit of time to prep this drive to get it ready to boot to it. So it's not going to boot straight away. And this is where people get impatient. And of course, they'll pull it out and then they'll break the operating system. So we're running a live operating system here. So you just have to let it prepare itself. Hopefully you'll get to this stage where it's saying, choose your country or region. I'm going to choose the United Kingdom and it will ask you for your keyboard layout and things like that. This is because we're building up the USB flash drive with Windows on it, and it's going to act exactly like it would on a normal machine. It's going to go off and check for updates, and uh, if you've got internet connectivity, it will probably download uh, some updates and get it prepared. Now it's going to go off and get a few updates, so let it do its thing. It does take a fair bit of time, so just be patient and let Microsoft download all the latest updates for this uh, so-called win to go build so good things are coming your way apparently according to microsoft we'll be the judge of that and uh, we'll just let it restart here and again you're going to have to go to the bios again 
and restart the system and choose your USB flash drive or your external drive, what you're using here. Otherwise, you're going to boot into your normal operating system. So let that start up and it will finish off the installation here on our USB flash drive. So once we get to this stage, you should see the terms and conditions page and we'll have to accept those and then move on to the finalization of the build. So let's agree to their terms and conditions. And again, it's going to ask you to give the device a name so we can give this a name, whatever you like. I'm going to call this one portable. And we'll just let this uh, finish off here. It's going to restart again for the fourth time now. So on the restart, we need to select our USB flash drive one more time. It's the fourth time now. And then we can now create our account. And this is going to finish off the installation of Windows 11 on our external drive or flash drive or whatever it is you're installing it onto. So there we go. Now, again, this is Windows 11 home here. So you will need to uh, sign into an account unless you use the bypass method, which I'll quickly show you right here. So you can see here it's asking us to sign in to an account. So we're going to bypass this by holding the shift key down and pushing F10. And this will open up the prompt box here. And all I need to do here is type ipconfig space forward slash release. And then we can close this window off. So that's what I'm going to do next. Close the window off here. And then we need to push the back arrow button. So go up to the top left hand side here, push the back arrow button and it will let you sign in to a local account. So we can give the device now a name. I'm going to call this Brightech here and then click next and give it a password if you want to. I'm just going to leave this blank, click next. And then you just need to go through all of the, uh, you know, the telemetry stuff, location, find my device, uh, diagnostics, improving and typing, tailored experiences and advertising. And need to say no to all that stuff and it will say hi and then it will get a few things ready and it will finish off. And once this is done, uh, the drive should be complete. So once this is done, we should be able to boot up to Windows 11 on our USB flash drive and hopefully it will load up. And we just need to let this finish off here and uh, it should say almost there. There we go. And then you should see the desktop pop up here. There we go. So. If you don't see any internet connection, you need to just restart one more time and you'll get a general experience of how fast Windows will load up on your USB flash drive by doing that re restart. You will need to select your USB flash drive to boot to it and then you'll see it will go straight to Windows rather than uh, building the actual operating system for this time. So let me quickly show you basically what we've got here. So you can see, so I'm just going to quickly go disk management here and you should see your main operating system has been turned off here. It's got offline and we are on the USB flash drive here. We've booted to this one. So that's the one we're on at the moment. And everything seems to be quite zippy. It's moving around pretty well. It's not too bad. And again, this is why you need a super fast USB flash drive. And this is probably why you're getting error codes or it's not loading properly. It's because your flash drive is too slow. So just to clarify, your internal disks will be offline and your TPM is not required here. You can see we're on a, a non-supported system. Hibernate is disabled and your recovery is unavailable. OK, so bear that in mind on these ones. So we're running Windows 11 Home here on this USB flash drive. And uh, what we're going to do here is I'm going to quickly show you the boot up time in real time so you can see how long it takes for this little drive to boot up to Windows from uh, a standing start. This is my drive here, so I can add data on this and it will be saved. So it's useful for people that want to have a portable device, uh, you know, when they're moving about. So let's go ahead and do a cold restart here and go Kingston and see how long it takes to boot up to the desktop. Now this flash drive I'm using here is pretty fast. It is a very fast one, so bear that in mind and it shouldn't take too long to get to the desktop. You can see we're already at the login in screen here and this should get straight to the desktop very shortly. Whereas if you're using a very slow one, it will take a while. Once you're normally loaded in, it's all pretty good from there on in. You can see the internet is now working and we've now got access to the internet. Let me just quickly paste my website in here and you can see it loads up pretty fast too. 
So pretty good for Windows to go. That's basically how you can set yours up. If you're interested in the sort of drives I'm using, I'll quickly show you an array of drives you can use here. Uh, Orico do some pretty fast ones here. You can just put in your NVMe into there uh, and make it super fast. That's the sort of drives I've been using. This is the one I was using here, which is pretty expensive here. But if you want lightning speeds, then you're going to have to pay a premium, I'm afraid. That's basically how that works. So, yeah, there's plenty to choose from. There's some cheaper ones on there as well if you want to go down the cheaper route. But anyway, that's basically it. That's how you can create your Windows to go on a USB flash drive or an external drive. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. And also want to say a special shout out to Casso Time, Big Daddy, Gary Belts, Mike Bigness, PC Repair Tech, Albert Hewson, Jedi Buddhist, Geo Sam, Welsh Tony One, and Phil's Computer Repair. Hope you're feeling better, Phil, recovering from COVID. I know it's not very nice, but I hope you're recovering and feeling a lot better. Anyway, that's going to be about it. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.